Assalamu alaikum friends in this video I am going to show you how to create this type of holes by using hole wizard command and how to make threads inside any hole by using threads command below the hole wizard command and also I will discuss how to make uh, bolts in SOLIDWORKS and after that how to create or extrude uh, threads on it by using threads command here and after that we will discuss how to assemble bolt and nut in SOLIDWORKS assembly so keep watching this video till end first of all you need to have a part for that sketch on front plane now you can draw a rectangle define it let's say 50 millimeter and 100 millimeters so now in the feature step press extruded bow space command and extrude it up to 50 millimeters now press ok button after that first of all I am going to use whole wizard command so click on it there are two tabs type tab and position tab first of all in the type tab select the type for the hole and then scroll down now the standard NC inch NC meter metric or AS or anything or any standard that you want to choose so uh, let me choose NC inch here is the type for bolt so hex bolt or hex screw there are lots of types for the bolt so for this time I'm going to use hex bolt here is the size in inches so uh, let me choose 5 over 16 this is the side gap so uh, you can choose close normal or loose or you can also edit the sizes by checking to this box show custom sizing now you can see here is the type for dimension and you can edit all three dimensions from here here is the end condition throughout blind or up to vertex so uh, for this I'm going to choose blind here is the size in millimeters as the extrusion oh, for this box was 50 millimeters so let me choose 40 millimeter here is the further options head, head clearance and you can uh, edit this dimension one millimeter this option is about near side counter sink zero point one millimeters here is the degree and uh, if you check to this box under head counter sink and you can also edit these dimensions so after that click on positions tab here and now just click on the plane or face where you want to make hole let's place it here now choose smart dimensions to precise its dimensions now this point is below which means that it is not fully defined so now at this dimension thirty millimeters 
now it is fully defined as the dot or point is now in black now you can press ok button here you can see the hole has been completed so now after the hole wizard now I am going to add threads by using this thread command so click on this arrow below the hole wizard button and select thread first of all it will ask you about the cylindrical edge where you want to add threads so select this uh, circle after that in this box it will ask you about the position from where these threads will be started so we want to start the threads from this uh, face so select a line perpendicular to the threads so for that select this line if you want to make uh, these threads offset simply check to this box offset here is the degree and here is the end conditions which blind revolutions and up to selection for blind as we had uh, created this hole up to 40 millimeters so for now just type 40 so now scroll down and here is the type for threads so uh, if you drop down this menu here are few types for threads for this time I am going to choose metric tab and here is the size for threads so uh, for these threads I am going to choose M10 by 1.25 scroll down again here is the thread method cut thread or extrude it or extrude thread so cut threads are mostly used when you have to cut the threads inside any hole or extrude threads are used when you have to make threads on a bolt so for this time we have to select cut threads and here are refs, rest of the options uh, like right hand threads or left hand threads and here is the preview options so now after completing all this data press ok button and here are the threads that have been created if you zoom in and see now create a new part and sketch on front plane draw a circle on origin and define it 5 oblique 16 inches now extrude it up to Uh, 30 millimeters press ok button now sketch on this plane make normal to and draw a hexagon six sided define it 16 millimeters and extrude it up to 10 millimeter press ok button so again click on this arrow below the hold wizard button and select threads first of all it will ask you about edge of cylinder so select this circular edge for this time don't use this option scroll down and type the dimension or distance 30 millimeter again scroll down here is the type and size which is presetted according to the previous uh, model that we have drawn 
again scroll down and thread method select extrude thread now press ok button now here you can see threads have been extruded on the bolt now I am going to assemble this bolt and this part first of all we need to save them on the desktop as part and save the bolt bolt now click on reference geometry and select axis select this uh, cylindrical face and press ok button now again create a new assembly and import both of these parts into the assembly part and bolt first of all select this circular face cylindrical face and select mate option and then on the left side select this axis now press ok button again press ok button so now click on mates option here and then scroll down now drop down this mechanical mates option and then select screw now select this axis on the left side and then this circular edge now here is the option revolution per millimeter or distance per revolution so check to this option distance per revolution which is 1.25 millimeters so press ok button again press ok button now scroll down and drop down this option mates and click on concentric mate then suppress it now your mate is ready if you rotate and see it will work thanks for watching and sparing time for this video if you liked this video please subscribe to this channel for more or if you want any help you can contact me on my facebook page a link to my facebook page is written in the description of this video Thanks.